Hi, so <laughs> how are you going? So yesterday I bought a bike. Um, it's an e-bike, it's a cargo bike. And so I'm going to, I have no idea, but I'm going to try and um, document my travels as an e-bike owner. Hey, I don't know, yeah, what do you reckon? So I'll show you the bike. So I'm just getting ready to, this is only a quick video because I'm getting ready to go to my sister's place for a swim. So I'm going to ride it, so I'm just going to show you. So turn it around. So this is an Uber bike, an Uber Mundo, Mundo. So it has, um, can take another person on the back. Um, so it's got those seats. It was designed, the previous owner had it for her children and would take them to school. So um, yeah, I am learning how to be an e-bike rider. I don't know how I'll go, but I'm going to give it a crack. Okay, let's go for a ride. Okay, so I've just taken off and um, yucky. <laughs> I just ran under a tree, uh, my own tree, my own house, got a bug on my forehead. Um, becoming a bike owner, particularly one who is not really keen on riding on the road, got to learn, okay, so 55, having to get some of the balance skills back that I would have had as a younger person. Um, that's going to be an interesting journey. Um, I just like the being able to weave in and out of traffic. Um, that's going to be tricky. Oh, pausing. Okay. Car coming. That's going to be interesting. There's another car coming. Yep, I can see it. Also, um, um, hold on, I'm just going to cross here. Oh, nice lawn. aware of the edges of the road and just looking at them going yeah no that's not safe to drive in to ride in should be but it's not there's no edge on the road nowhere for a bike to separate themselves from the cars we live in an incredibly car centric um city country and so yeah and I'm a car driver, I've always been a car driver, well, I've been a car driver for 20 years, so, okay, thinking, oh yeah, I should be able to cross, I'm just going to use my feet, because that's just the way it's going to go, I think if I go down here, I don't think this is a nice road, we should be okay. Not the best uh, road thingy, road stuff there, Lisa. Anyway, just adjusting my thing to see if there's anybody behind me. Paddle as pedal assist. Okay, this is my first solo ride, my second ride altogether, and my first one solo. So, yeah, still learning and trying to not die. <laughs> okay, where is this street coming out at? What street's this? So I've, I've got, gone away, I've come in a direction that I wouldn't normally come, but I've only come this way because the road is way too busy. I couldn't cross. So up Kambala Street, which is pretty steep, this is a good measurement of if I want to ride up Calvin Grove Road, which is really my, which is my nemesis. Can I ride up Calvin Grove Road? Okay, so there's my road. And if I go, nobody coming, no, no cars behind me. Turning left, ooh. Turning left. Okay. Let's get 
going? Right. I didn't time how long this ride is. Oh, this video might help. On this street, Buller Street, there's heaps of cars parked on the road. I don't think there are enough um, spots for people who are, who live in the house, in the street. Okay, I'm gonna go around. Okay, then I'm gonna go. Nobody coming? This is a pretty busy street though. This is one I drive up regularly. the Domino's kids come through here, like they fly, I don't know how they do it, they're young. Oh, that's a ridiculous little hit. Coming up to a roundabout, nope, all good. Okay, brakes on because I am down because I don't trust myself just yet. Should be okay. I don't want to come a cropper around this corner. I actually want to cross the road. So I'm going to just come here. Actually maybe we should have gone a different route. Actually maybe next time I'll go a different way. I think I'll come through here again. Not till I'm a lot more confident. Okay, around the corner. When I get stronger, I'll be okay. But not for the But now I'm just gonna be really careful. So I want to cross this road and it's crazy busy. Okay, we're Would have been 
better if I'd gone down the bike path actually. So you could do that when you're on an e-bike. You have there's more um you've got more room. Oh you got more you're not riding the entire thing. So with an e-bike you should be able to go the long way around without freaking out. That's what I'll do next time. So I'm gonna go over there. comes a Domino's boy. He knows what he's doing. Person, young person. Oh. Okay. Anybody coming? It's illegal what I just did then, but anyway. I'm here. Holy shit, right? This is interesting. My car, the bike can't get up here without me pedaling. I don't think I understand gears fully. No, I don't understand gears fully. This is, this is what Calvin Road Road is going to be like. But I did get up the South Point Road okay yesterday. That was pretty seamless. Okay, battery's off, just riding down now, all downhill, pedal assist, brakes braking, see I ride through here regularly, I don't know, this is a great um, place to ride, definitely not made for cyclists, there are cars on both sides of the road. Pretty narrow, even as a driver, you have to be really careful because there'll be oncoming traffic, and it's really only enough room for one. There you go. Thank you. minutes with pausing and thinking oops 12 minutes cool <clears throat> so I've been to swimming and I've just picked gone to 99 bikes I did 40 minutes of swimming then went to 99 bikes to um, pick up a lock which hopefully I will be able to use because now I'm heading to Coles so I'm just waiting for the lights to change again here we go it's interesting you see streets in a really different way because you know you're right here and I could go but I'm not gonna go because I'm gonna be a good citizen there we go okay um, you see streets in a completely different way because um, whoop, there we go and I don't have as much flexibility as I used to. <sighs> Honestly. I know I'm on an e-bike, so it's the machine is doing a lot. But I am going to pick up a lot of fitness. <sighs> Again, just the balance. Balancing stuff. Um... Being able to balance again like I was when I was younger. Oh my god. Alright. So now we're going through the dreaded shopping centre where people don't necessarily 
look out for you and I was a driver so I know what that's like double checking constantly coming around the corner and I've got to find the bike rack to lock up my bike Holy mackerel. So, so that was my first um, ride today on the bike and I guess the things that I'm I'm most concerned about are um, my first solo ride on the, on the bike I should say the things I'm most concerned about are finding my getting the fitness to be balanced is a big thing for me because when you're tired your reaction times are much slower um well mine are so i need to do that i have a belly as well so when i'm pedaling it's kind of and trying to get my legs on the pedal that's a bit awkward um the other thing i need to do is learning routes um in these in where we live here there's a lot of cars on the street we I mean we even have a car on the street we're cur currently um helping someone fix a car so, which is in our driveway so we're on the street as well so i know what that's like so i'm not saying anything not criticizing anybody but we have a lot of car on the streets cars on the street so it makes it much um narrower for riders and make which makes it more dangerous the other thing i need to do is i need to investigate insurance in case i'm in an at fault and i damage somebody's vehicle so i need to do that and really you know i'm interested in how much i can replace um using my car i have a 2017 subaru um, which i love i love my subaru i'll probably always have subarus from here on in but how can i re replace that in my everyday brisbane um riding i think is going to be interesting is probably is the challenge i don't think the bike is going to particularly improve my fitness i'll still ride to training um because it's an e-bike i do do some stuff it's about flexibility and when the balance stuff but it's not like cardio and stuff like that um yeah so i'm i'm excited excited about this and i'll try and document some of it i'm an appalling youtuber i'll never be a proper youtuber because i can never <laughs> always think about it but i never do it so i'm going to put this edit this video on my laptop uh, rather than just um with all the stuff from today normally i just go straight from my phone into youtube up to YouTube without actually doing any editings as you can tell um, but this time I'm going to edit stuff and just pull it together so yeah e-bike e-bike journeys day one of a lifetime <laughs>